Hey guys, the Master One Three Seven Eight here. Tango is doing a, another how to build video. Now this is another Halo creation that I've come up with. It's completely my own creation, and it is a UNSC weapons rack. Now this is the type of thing that you might see in the uh, sort of the weapons depots that you uncover during the various Halo games, such as Combat Evolved or ODST or uh, others. So. It's a fairly simple design, and some of you may already be able to figure out how to make it just from this one uh, angle, but I'm going to break it down a bit more for you. Here we have the exploded view of sorts, and you're going to start off with a 2x6 base. Now, you don't have to use a 2x6 plate for this. You could just put this directly onto your uh, scene or whatever you're, wherever you're going to put this on. So and it's it's basically just here mainly to, to sort of to make this easier to show you guys and uh, the way I actually had it positioned in my scene I was putting it on an angle and this plate just makes it a bit easier so yeah and basically on top of that you're gonna want to put uh, right here I have four one by two curve or sloped bricks or you could you could sort of put the equivalent such as two two by twos or one by four or whatever and then on top of that, on either side, you're going to put, again, the equivalent of six 1x2 bricks. In this case, I have one of the larger pylon bricks and then a single 1x2. So you're going to do that on both sides. Put that aside, and then we're getting to the sort of rack part. Now, uh, I myself like this in black. I sort of, I went with the light gray and black color scheme just because it really helps to... Uh, to make the magnum stand out in their sort of shiny gunmetal color. However, if you're using this for a black, uh, a black colored weapon, then you might want to uh, use a, a different color, maybe. But this this is mainly how I think it's supposed to go. So yeah, basically, this is a the, the same pattern that's repeated three times for here. You got a one by four brick, which is has four studs on one side, and then on top of that is. A, uh, this one actually has two one by twos or a one by four if you have it and you repeat that three times and it gives you enough space to store six magnum pistols now in the uh, sort of in uh, each of these or uh, one of the two holes here you're gonna put a exo force hand piece or claw whatever terminology you want to use you're gonna want to twist it slightly and insert your magnums now the magnums don't fit in all the way as you can see since they have the trigger guard they only fit in about halfway there so they're a little bit delicate i wouldn't recommend playing with this too much and fiddling around with it however once they're in there they're fine again you might want to readjust the uh the claw pieces just so they're straight these ones right here aren't perfect but they definitely give that sort of look you can see they, they look good so that's the most important thing and then we just slide in there and to finish off, you have, again, one by two uh, inverted bricks times four, or two two by twos, or one by four, or whatever you have. Just make, make sure they're inverted uh, slopes. And then put those on the top there. And you can cover it all with, I'm using two one by six plates or tiles, excuse me. You can use three two by twos or the equivalent. And yeah, so that's basically it. It does have a bit of a black sort of square on the back, but that's not a huge deal in my opinion. I think this is a pretty good looking thing. It's probably one of my favorite uh, gun racks or uh, weapons racks that I've made and I think that it definitely helps to convey the sort of tactical ish and uh, military and just awesome feel that uh, these things have in the game so that's basically it guys I really hope you've enjoyed this video I really love making these how to build videos for you guys and I hope you find them informative and entertaining and I hope that they inspire you to make your own uh, version of this with your own pieces from your own collection and make your own mocks so that's it guys, I hope to see you again in another video soon.